What's up, Modern Stutters? We've had so many projects going on here lately that I haven't kept you guys up to date on everything else, and I'm sorry. That's just not fair. I should be letting you guys know how all the chickens, the pigs, the garden, how everything's doing. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a weekly video just on the modern homestead and how everything's going, so that way you guys don't lose track or I don't forget to tell you about Blackie or the pigs or the garden or the ducks. So I'm gonna, let's go for a walk and we'll show you how everything's doing so far. I have a question for you. I have really soft teeth and I just heard about remineralizing toothpaste. They sell a brand on Amazon. I'll leave a link to that in the video description below. Let me know if you've ever used remineralizing toothpaste and if it helps your teeth heal from cavities or just having soft teeth. I'd love to try it and I'm gonna order some, but I'd like to know what's your experience been? That's a loud bird. You guys hear that? That's crazy. Let's go check on the pigs and see how they're doing. Guys, Pluto's got a baby bunny. That's what all the noise is. Hello, baby rabbit. Pluto, you're fresh. Hi. Let's go try to save it. Pluto wants it. We're watching you. You be nice. Sit down. Leave it alone. I don't think Pluto really heard it, but we're gonna keep it here for a little while, see how it does, and if it's doing well, we'll release it, I think. We're gonna talk, we'll show it, we gotta at least show it to Gina and Olivia when they get home. We just had a subscriber leave a comment telling us we needed meat rabbits, and look, now we got one. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we'll leave her up there for now, see how she does, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it. Just what we need around here, another animal. <sighs> You're crazy, dog. You're crazy. I just can't make this stuff up, guys. You heard the screeching noise. I thought it was a crazy bird. That was just Pluto catching a rabbit. Talk about a modern homestead update. That was live action. All right, we were back. To, let's get back to where we were. We were going to check on the pigs. The pigs are growing good. They're just not digging and rooting as much as I would like them to. I don't know if it's their breed or if it's that they're not big enough. The pigs that we had last year dug an awful lot more. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get these guys to start digging more. The pigs we got last year were bred more for pasture raising, but we weren't able to get those this year. So we got these breeds. They like my show. Do that to the hay. Yeah, you. But they are digging up some and composting. Either way, we're gonna get some awesome bacon. Can you guys see? Just the two male ducks, and then all the chickens. The chickens are doing great, and so is New York City. And the ducks are doing good, but I think both the female ducks are broody. They're both been under New York City, sitting on a clutch of eggs. So maybe in two, two and a half weeks, we'll have some baby ducklings running around. That'd be cool. The only downfall is, is we can't move New York City. New York City needs to move. Look at that. They've done an awesome job revitalizing this old apple orchard. Thank you. So what I'm thinking is since I can't move New York City is we're gonna move the fence. 
I'll have to figure out a way to move the fence because the two male ducks and the female ducks don't go inside to New York City at night, but the chickens do. So early one morning, I'm gonna have to get up and move the fence, I'm thinking, out towards the road or maybe just back this way and keep a New York City where it is. Does that make sense to you guys? I think that's the only, about the only option I have right now unless I leave it where it is. And I think the chickens want to do some work. They want some fresh greens. You want some fresh greens? Do you want some fresh greens? What about you? The inside of New York City is working awesome. The roost work out perfectly. When I come in here at night to lock them up and collect my eggs, they're usually on the higher roost staring out the window at me. They haven't been roosting in the duck nesting box and the ducks haven't been using it either. And they haven't been roosting on this pole for their nesting box. But as you can see, they're laying some great eggs. We got our oyster shells over here for calcium. Next time we run to the feed store, we're gonna have to get some kelp for them. They're gonna love that. Take you around the back. I don't know how many of you have seen the nesting box, but this is how we access it. From the back, we just drop it down. We can get right in there, boom. Alright, we're going to turn the fence back on. Brax, I don't want you to hear it from you that I didn't turn the fence on. So our vegetables are jamming. Look at these tomatoes, they're starting to flower out. The stalks are huge, they're about the size of a sharpie. And they're growing awesome. There's this one, we're getting a bunch of flowers on it. That one's going to be flowering out soon. Bunch more flowers there, budding up, more there. I see BLTs in our future, yes! And we still have some pasture-raised bacon in the freezer. We made sure we didn't eat it all this winter so we can have some awesome BLTs. The onions are doing good. They're growing nice. More tomatoes. They're growing and getting some awesome flowers. The peppers are looking pretty good. They might be getting a little light and green. We're gonna have to get some nitrogen over here for them so they'll darken up. And the broccoli and cauliflower are doing good. I think this one's Brussels sprouts. You can see the little nodes right there. I think those are gonna be Brussels sprouts. We planted an assortment right here and I don't remember which one is which. So it's kind of like a little mystery until they start growing and producing. This end right here is our turnips. They're starting to come up. Then you go down a little ways. And we got carrots. They're starting to sprout up right here. We have to thin those out. Those are looking nice. We started some corn in this row from seed. And I think that's the first one right there. So the corn we started from seed out in the garden isn't doing that great. The corn that I dumped the urine on the other day, they're jamming. Look at that. These things are so tall, look. That's huge. So that's the corn we started in our basement in our soil blocks. They're doing awesome. These onions are doing great, look at them. They're almost catching up to the ones we started in the house. So we know starting the onions in the house doesn't really accomplish anything. But we'll keep an eye on them throughout our growing season and we'll let you know if you need to start your onions in the house if it's gonna gain anything for you. And then our green beans, they're jamming. I've had a couple of now. This is the second plant that's missing its top leaves. I don't know if something's getting in my garden and eating the leaves off. You saw the rabbit Pluto just caught. It could be one of them. I'm gonna have to start peeing in this garden bed too. What the heck? Yeah, right, cause we got, this one's missing the tops. This one. Yeah. Uh, I think we have a little critter issue. I know what I'm gonna be doing tonight. This bed 
is loaded with beets. We love making pickled beets and they're doing really good. This whole bed right here is loaded with beets. Awesome. And then over here, we planted Swiss chard. It's a weed. And then these are radishes that Gina wanted. She wants to try, I think it was, pickling radishes. I've never had a pickled radish before, have you? I bet you fermenting them would be good. When we were at the grocery store the other day, we saw a apple sauerkraut. That looked good. We're gonna have to make some of our own apple sauerkraut this harvest season when it gets here. You still dreaming about that rabbit? That's not nice. Are you ashamed of yourself? No, I didn't think so. Pluto's back to the scene of the crime. She's looking for more baby rabbits. Smell any? That's pretty close to our potato bin. Look at the potatoes. Let's get down low and show you guys how high they are. That one right there is tall enough, but a lot of these little ones aren't. We're gonna give it a few days, then we're gonna add some more spent hay and some, I said the other day, leaf clippings. It's just raked up leaves from our yard. Sorry. We'll add some of that and a little bit of soil. So we'll be doing an update on this, doing a video just on this and how we're gonna keep adding to it probably in the next couple of days. So be looking out for that. Look at the cucumber plants. They're doing great. And then we got our zucchini. Look at that. That's the soil block. Those are jamming. I just can't wait till we start getting some food from this garden. This is gonna be awesome. All this is growing in a spot that we didn't have to do any work to, and we're not gonna have to this growing season either. We're just gonna reap all the benefits. Here are the Icelandic chicks and the broody hen and her chicks that she hatched out. They're about all feathered out and looking awesome. We have four hens, a pullet, and one rooster out of the bunch. And then we got the five Icelandic chicks out here. Two of them are females, and I'm not sure about those other three yet, because one of our Icelandic hens over there has a long comb. So I don't know if all these three are roosters or what. So let's move this tractor for them. So they love eating all the fresh grass too. They're just going to town looking for bugs. And grass. I have really good luck with our bod rocks on pasture eating grass. So we only have our, I think it's like 17 or 18 bard rocks in there. And they've been there 12 hours. And look how much of the grass they've eaten. We have awesome luck with our bard rocks eating grass. Let me show you. food. They barely touched it all day. It's up to here. I put a scoop in here this morning. They barely eat the grain. They're loving on the grass. And look how big they are. That's a big rooster right there. Yeah, we're talking about you. We have six hens or pullets in here that we will be selling. They're a few months old. So if anybody in the New Hampshire area is looking for organic fed, pasture raised hens or pullets, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to talk to you. We have six for sale right now. And we have four over in the other one that are probably two months now. They're 
Yeah, they're probably eight weeks old. So if anybody's looking for any barred rock hens, let us know. When we had our 22 Cornish cross meat birds and our barred rocks together, we were going through two 50 pound bags of grain a week. That's a lot of grain. Right now, we're not even using half a bag of grain a week. So that just lets you know how much the Cornishes were eating. These guys are barely consuming any feed. They're not as big as the Cornishes. They're probably half the size but they're eating less than half the grain. I'm thinking that right now it's gonna be cheaper to raise these guys to harvest time than it was the Cornishes. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. And here we have the Icelandic chickens we bought. We have Rufus the rooster, and we have the two females. We've been getting anywhere from one to two eggs a day from them. Say hello guys. We will be doing more videos on these guys in the future. Somebody was asking about their temperament and stuff. I'm gonna link a video right here and Gina and Olivia got all three of them to eat out of their hands the other day, even the rooster, so it's pretty cool. Their eggs, excuse me Rufus. Their eggs are a little bit smaller. We haven't eaten any yet because we've been saving them and we've been hatching them. So now we'll go inside and I'll show you our eggs in the incubator. One thing I will say about these guys is they do really good at foraging for food. They don't seem to eat so much grass, but they really peck the ground and dig it and work it and looking for bugs. And they're really calm and they barely eat any grain. You wanna go check on that rabbit, don't you? You know where the rabbit is, huh? We got a rabbit loose in the basement. He's not in the box, guys. The rabbit jumped out. I guess that wasn't a good idea. So Blackie's doing good. She's pretty much all healed up. She's just got a few more feathers she needs to grow in. But she's gonna go out into New York City with all the other Icelandic chicks once we put them out there. Over here, we have our eggs in the incubator. We candled them for the second time the other night and all of them but one were, had veins in them and were growing. So that's awesome. We kept that one in there because we didn't see any veins but the, there was like an air sac. So there might still be a chick in there growing. So we got, today is on day 10. So we got 11 more days and they should start hatching for us. That'll be great. I think I need to go find a rabbit in my basement. I know Pluto will find it, so I'm not too worried about it, other than it'll stop making a bunch of noise. Guys, I lied. There it is, I found the rabbit. Whew. If that rabbit was loose, Gina would not have been happy. I'm glad I found it. I'm gonna close the lid for now. and don't decide what to do with that. I don't want that loose in my basement. We hope you liked today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps us grow. Leave it in the comments below and let us know if this is something you wanna see every week, an update on what's going on at the Modern Homestead. I wanted to thank everybody for sharing the videos. It's really helping our channel grow. And I wanted to say hi to all the new subscribers we got here. We've been getting so many new subscribers, this is awesome, and I wanted to thank you. This is all because of you guys. It's nothing I can do. It's all because of you. You guys are awesome. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And if you already are a subscriber, when you hit the subscribe button, go back and look. There's a bell button. Hit the little bell button, and when you do, it turns on notifications. So YouTube will send you notification sometimes whenever we upload a video. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that when you subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, go check and see if that little bell button is on or not. Don't forget, we got an Instagram account and a Facebook account. We're Lumna Acres on our social media pages. So we're usually posting a photo a day there, at least. So if you wanna keep up to date with us, that's another great way to do it. So until next time, we'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.